Hi, I'm Shane. I'm Kelsey. And, and this, this is, is Dixie. Dixie. And we're Love Hub for Life. And for 217 weeks, we've been traveling inside of our little house. <laughs> That's right, guys. And this week, we have it parked in East Texas, working on a very cool old farmhouse that means a whole lot to us and the people Shane's building for. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, be sure and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe and comment below so that we know to be grateful for you. Please morning y'all and welcome to another fun-filled week in texas i've been helping kelsey's cousin out working on their house for a couple weeks now and originally this was an old shed underneath this carport and we ripped all of it out there was termite damage so i've reframed everything under here they've also been replacing and retrofitting their electrical because this is a really old house. It's actually been moved. It used to be a couple miles down the road and it got brought here, but it's over a hundred years old. It's a really cool house, but because it's that age, we're having to replace a lot of the electrical. So I'm going to help out and crawl underneath this because we've got to run some wires underneath the house today so he can get everything wired up safely. But they replaced this old box that was completely overloaded with this huge service. Let's get to work. Guys, we're gonna get back to working on that room and finishing up with our projects here in Texas later on this week. But for now, we've got the Love Hut all packed up, ready to go, and filled with presents. Ho, 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 y'all. This yellow sleigh is about to get on the road. And so please look now, hold your breath. First stop, Henderson. Off to see our little jam buddy. Kara's mom, Chelsea, is having to work today, but we couldn't pass through town without stopping and seeing her. Boy, I love that little redhead. Dixie loves her too, huh? Mm -hmm. Even though she calls you grumpy puppy. <laughs> Diamond, okay? Alright. It comes from Payson, Arizona. And uh, one really awesome thing about these quartz diamonds is that they're amplifiers. So, you know that really, really special talent that you have that when you come into a room, it makes everyone really happy? Well, that is because you have awesome energy, and this will just help everyone see it even more. Hey, Nori, and, and Amy will like this. I might wear it to the bonfire. Yeah, you should. <laughs> Next stop is Kilgore. Now, guys, we are about to turn the cameras off for a little bit because unfortunately not everyone loves our YouTube channel as much as all of you do. But I must say that we are very, very excited to go and play our favorite role. Ho, 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 It's going to be a night full of love and happiness.
Oh, Merry Christmas, little one. She's not quite as excited as she normally is. I think it might be a little bit early for her, but we have lots of presents to open. Ho, 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 Shane. Ho, 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 Kelsey. <laughs> Merry Christmas. To each and every one of you. Is that a clarinet? It's a zafoon. A zafoon. I've never played a wind instrument before, but uh, I'm gonna try. It's like a recorder and a saxophone had a baby. <laughs> I also received fun ways to make the instruments that I actually do know how to play. A little louder. <laughs> it's a tiny amp. I as well got a thing to make loud noises. <laughs> what are you gonna be jamming this year, Kelsey? Ho, ho, ho. We're a musical group. <laughs> it's already been a really really great Christmas morning and now it's time to make our way out of the love hut and into my dad's house where about 30 to 40 of uh, our our closest family members will be attending today and I'm super excited to get to hug all of those aunts and cousins the Warrens will be here later today too <laughs> Dixie, what do you think? Are you ready for some Christmas ham? It's cold out here, huh? Brr. Can I get a limb rent round, please? Yeah. <laughs> I'm good at this one, guys. <laughs> oh, Jag Kink Oak. Jack and Jack Coke? Jack and It is another absolutely beautiful morning in East Texas, and we are happy to be parked back at the Warren's house. Now, yes, that does mean Shane is back to his project, but I don't think anyone has any intentions of getting any work done today because we're not quite done with celebrating Christmas and having family time. It's gonna be another fun day, y'all. I think I'm gonna make a lot of noise. George, I like your cone. Maybe you're gonna be calmer now. <laughs> Merry Christmas, George. <laughs> Good 
morning. I hope all of y'all had a happy holiday. We certainly did. It's time to get back to work on this house. So last week, I helped Brett do a bunch of work on the electrical system and this whole panel was replaced. So a larger service was provided to the whole house, which it really needed an update. And because of that, he repulled a bunch of wires and we ran them through conduit on the exterior of the building. If you go back and look, some of the older pictures from when we first started the project, there was wires running around the eave of the house. Like there's just been a lot of people doing their own work on it. So it was time to safely upgrade everything. So some of them go under the house through the conduit and they continue to wrap around the house to provide service to different things on the property. Now that that's out of the way, I can continue this foam work adding it to the exterior of the building and then we'll be putting hardy board on the outside of it it's time to get to work we still got one more window to tear out that was my fault <laughs> well, you fixed it, though. hey guys <laughs> you've been redeemed what's happening we're cutting more holes in the house we get this is our last window to set and Britt's um, teaching me how to use <laughs> multiplication and, and subtraction today. It's, wow. I know, it's so fun. <laughs> well, we're being treated to a beautiful sunset, which means my day is coming to an end. I didn't get as much done as I hoped, but I got as much done as I did. We got a new window put in there and I started working on the foam. So we are actually covering up the old siding because this stuff is asbestos siding and there's a lot to removing it. So we're just going to be covering it. And that's what the foam is going up over it. We'll get more done tomorrow, I promise. Good morning or should I say good afternoon? It's about time for lunch. I uh, forgot to start recording for you guys this morning. But me and Britt came out here and got to work. And last night as the sun was setting, we got that window attached. We went ahead and did all of our stripping around it this morning. And we're obviously getting the last of the foam up. We're only gonna be bringing the new siding to this corner. The front of the house and the rest will be done at a later point. And our focus right now is to get this room finished, which meant we had to finish this wall as well. Let's keep going. I think we have to go to the store next. Well, it's gone. It's dropped behind my trees over there, which means it's getting cold fast. It's been cold all day though. But I'm very satisfied with where we're at. We managed to get all this finished. Wrapped around that window. And the last spot is here around all of these breaker boxes that Britt has recently upgraded. And I've got to make the siding look good when it meets all of this. We couldn't take it all off and do all the siding and put it back on because, well, they're living in this house. So <laughs> we needed to keep service active. Tomorrow, well, I'll get that tied up. And then we can go get the siding from the store and start hanging this stuff. See you all tomorrow. Oh, good morning. I am layered up today. I think I'm up to four shirts. It's a little chilly. Yesterday was cold too. But the sun's out. And that makes me happy. Not a cloud in sight. It's time to get this foam work finished up so we can go and pick up the siding today, hopefully. I can't wait to get this thing wrapped up because what we have in store inside is way more fun than putting siding on. The time comes near. Let's keep trucking, y'all. Well, there it goes. I do like watching the sunset through those trees. It's so pretty. But the temperature's dropping now too, and I need a shower. So I'm gonna call it good. 
We did manage to go get a big trailer full of siding today, which ate up a lot of time. And I also got all of my flashing installed around all these boxes and I'll finish the foam work in the morning there. And that's the end of the foam. Then I can start doing all the trim work for the hardy board. Y'all make sure you come back next week and see what this thing looks like with siding on it. And after the siding's on, we're gonna get to the exciting part and go inside. Say hey to George. He'll still have his cone next week too. Poor boy. See y'all then. Guys, we wanna take the time to say thank you to each and every one of you who have been following us along this far. If you haven't already done so, please go back and hit that subscribe button, watch some old videos, and comment below so that we know to be grateful for you. We also want to take the time to say a big thank you to the Warrens, who we are so very much enjoying all this time with. <laughs> if you're looking for some still shots of our adventures, my work, Kelsey's work with her jewelry, check out some of our other social media like Facebook and Instagram. You can also direct message us on those platforms as well. You can also find us on Etsy under Love Hot for Life. Mm -hmm. And if you're looking for this guy to build something for you, then send us a message at lovehutforlife at gmail.com. Guys, we will see you next week with a whole lot more progress on this little farmhouse and some plans to head west. Hmm. Peace out, guys. Bye, y'all. Thank you.